Jake Duran. When the Ishpeming and Gwyn girls basketball teams met earlier this season, the Hematites felt like they didn't play up to their standard. And tonight they got an opportunity to show their improvement when they went to Gwyn to take on a talented model towner squad in a rematch. Let's go to Gwyn High School. Donations being collected tonight to help ease the burden placed on the Weaver family. We're going to pick the game up in the third quarter. Hematites playing well. Their two freshmen connecting here is Janessa Eagle going to drive baseline and get it to Maya Hemmer for the bucket. 38-22 Hematites. Gwyn's turn. Grace Anderson. She'll get some good position down low under the basket. She catches and scores it. And it's Lena Plogue. She's going to slash her way to the rim for another score. We're going to jump to the fourth quarter. Model Towner still attacking Dakota Shepard. She gets free down low and lays it in. It's 46-32 Hematites. And Ishpeming going to put this one away. Addie Morton to the rack for two. And then Lola Corpy, she's going to line up a three ball and drill this one from deep. And then finally, it's Eagle once again. She's going to hit a three ball from the top of the key. Ishpeming takes the game 57-39. I thought we were prepared coming in. We came out a little timid in the first quarter. Uh, made a couple adjustments. Ishmings ran pretty good. They blend in a 2-2-1 two, two, press. They blend in a 1-2-2-1 two, two, press. Diamond, man-to-man, -man, and they come at you with a lot of different looks. So we got to be ready when, we, when they're coming at us hot. And uh, I think the first quarter, we had to settle down a little bit. I thought we had a great second quarter and a great third, and then we kind of got sloppy in the fourth again. But, man, Ishmings is a good team. Uh, you know, the Gwyn's 2-3 had us missing a lot of shots early in the first half. Uh, Lola Corpy in the third, fourth quarter came in and hit some big shots. It, we're able to give us a little comfort on the stretch, but uh, you know, I thought the Gwyn girls did a phenomenal job just making us miss shots. Uh, they were running around pretty well on the 2-3 zone. We kept continuing to grind away and uh, tried to figure out a way to win. Uh, we had a closer game early in the season, so I'm glad the girls were able to prove that we are getting better. Another girls